hello everyone welcome to my channel bgff snails channel where we talk everything snail farming this morning i'll be talking on taking care of your snails during the dry season taking care of your snails during the dry season as a snail farmer you must understand the seasons in order to be profitable in this snail farming venture and one of the seasons you really 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 need to understand is the dry season why because during this dry season a lot of things happen to the snails one the egg production is very very low two the mortal mortality rate is high because of heat because of wind and other uh, other things that happen during the dry season then another thing that happens to them again is estivation estivation is the process whereby these snails use a white um, white calcareous substance to cover up the shell mouth known as ep epigram that way they can stay like that for three to four months without food without water they are just dead some of them dig into the soil and remain there for a several number of months without coming out that is what we know as estivation it's really why they just cover their shell mouth with that white hard somehow hard calcareous substance that is known as estivation is a total period of inactivity and during this period they don't lay eggs during this period they don't eat and because they don't eat they don't grow and if your snails are not growing out of business if your snails are not laying eggs of course you are out of business so today i want to be telling giving you tips on how to take care of your snails during the dry season so that they don't go into estivation the first thing i'll be talking about is watering your snail pen watering your snail pen it is very important you water it in the morning you water it in the evening and most of the time you always check for the moisture content of the soil when i say water i don't mean you just dampen the whole soil because if you dampen it you become too wet that also will become a problem all you need is a moist a soil that is moist so when you come to water it in the evening and you see that the soil is moist enough you don't water it again you leave it till the next day but if you see that the soil is still dry you can also water it in the evening what i'm trying to say is don't allow the soil to be too wet let it just be moist that is tip number one tip number two you know during this season the soil snails need a lot of protein a lot of protein to keep them growing and where do you get protein from you can get it from animal blood you can go to abattoir to get blood meal they have a lot of blood meal. they sell it a lot in the abattoir you can get your blood meal from the abattoir you can get use them palm kernel cake we are not cake all those are good sources of protein for the snail also during this period they will need a lot of calcium supplements so that you can boost their egg production and so that you can boost their growth and calcium supplements are gotten from what from limestone you know grinded limestone is always available in most of these uh, meals these feed meals limestone egg shells you eat eggs a lot instead of throwing your shells away you pack them treat them and give them grind them and give them to the snail you also get calcium from oyster shells these serve as um, calcium supplements those are what then and during this period we, we know that fruits vegetables are very scarce and even when you get they are quite expensive during this period so you use compounded feed instead of feeding the snails with watermelon for all those things because they are scarce you use compounded feed where you get maize so uh, soya soya meal bone meal limestone wheat or fall oil compound them together grind and give to your snails subsequently i'll be doing videos on how to get how to formulate your food all right compounded compounded feed during this period is better because it's cheaper for you and is available you can use that pending when the rainy season starts then you can go back to your fruits vegetables um it doesn't mean that during this period you can't give fruits or vegetables if you get during this period or the opportunity to get cheap ones you can get and give them then during this period also you must constantly observe your snails while when feeding them observe check out for those ones that are inactive if they are inactive what you do is if you have noticed that they've started growing that white substance on their shell mouth you use a spoon break that white substance energize that snail by pouring water on it and also during this period to till your soil more regularly 
Because during that process of tilling, any of those nails that are in the soil, you'll be able to bring them out, energize them. If they've excavated, you break that white surface on their shell mount and energize them. During this period too, you can easily detect on time whatever is wrong in the pens when you till it. So I advise that during this period you till regularly because it helps you to constantly monitor the progress of your snails. Finally, the final tip I'll be giving you is during this period too, especially for us in the north, you cover your snails with things like this, uh, old sacks, black nylon, you cover the snail pen with it. This will reduce the amount of air, amount of wind going into the snail pen. I know this wind too can cause a lot of dryness in the pen and can cause the snails to estivate. So these are the few tips I'll, I'll be giving you today on how to take care of your snails during the dry season. Subsequently, I'll be making more videos so you can like, subscribe to my channel so that you can be getting notifications as I upload more videos. And for your uh, consultation, questions, inquiries, and others, you can call me on 0803-645-1033. Thank you and God bless.